Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring your weekly forecast for October 31st to November 6th. Guys, check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign if you'd like to cross watch to get more information. And also remember, this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on, on my Scorpios? Romantic love life. Whoa, look, a card wanted to pop out. Ace of Wands. Something to do with new opportunities a passion. What's going on, my Scorpios? Romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. What's going on, my Scorpios? Romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. What's going on, my Scorpios? Romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Perfect. Feels good. All right, let's put that aside for a second here. Let's get your oracle done. What's going on with my Scorpios? Romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. What's going on with my Scorpios? Romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. Okay, and this is going to be for your love interest. What's going on with my Scorpios? Love interest to romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th. What's going on with my Scorpios? Love interest to romantic love life for October 31st. To November 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So let me throw these cards down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So on the 31st, there's something that's going on with your destiny on this day, Scorpio. Okay. So something pertains to your destiny. However, you're feeling like you're left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles energy or you're leaving somebody out here in the cold, the Five of Pentacles energy. And remember, this is a card of change. Okay, and your love interest of the person you're dealing with is feeling like something is secret or they're trying to use their intuition to get to the bottom of something in their romantic love life. On the first, there's something surrounding work with you, Scorpio, with your romantic love life pertaining to work. And interesting enough, this is kind of being a burden on your mind here. So something surrounding this work is a burden on your mind or something surrounding uh, responsibilities here. And there could be something surrounding arguments or pain or hurt here pertaining to something pertaining to your workplace. Hmm. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is, is coming out as uh, being emotionally out of balance here with the temperance card where they want some kind of equal give and take and they're being patient about it. On the second, so you're going to have to watch out for some symbolism here, okay? Pay attention to your dreams on the second. Anything that may resonate with you, Scorpio, pay attention to it on this day, okay? You have the Knight of Pentacles energy, so you could be focused on yourself here with the Knight of Pentacles or something surrounding someone uh, in your romantic love life who's single and available or who, who wants you to be single and available. Nine of Pentacles energy. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming out as a devil card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy or there's something surrounding them pertaining to bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination. On the third, whoa, Scorpio, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. And guess what? Potentially, there could be some kind of reconciliation for you for something to do with the past or some kind of healing going on on the third energy. So watch out for that. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with is feeling a little bit defensive. They're feeling like there's a test of faith here. And on the fourth, Scorpio, they're saying to watch out for your health. Be careful about what you're eating. Keep yourself in balance here on this day. Although... There is some type of potential for my singles out there. Uh, make note of this date on the 4th. And if this is uh, somebody you're dating, so you're moving to another level of commitment here with the uh, page of pentacles here. It looks like it's going to another level of commitment here. There's some kind of potential for some kind of long-term commitment here in your romantic love life on the 4th. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming out as a seven of swords energy. Maybe they're not being completely honest with themselves. Maybe they feel like someone's being deceptive here with the seven of swords energy. On the fifth, this day is going to feel like paradise to you, okay? And actually, your energy is coming out as the queen of cups. So that's obviously your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're going to decide whether or not you want to give your couple love or not with the queen of cups energy. 
your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is dealing doing some deep soul searching or they're dealing with a Virgo energy with the hermit card they're really soul searching figuring out what they want here on the sixth there could be something surrounding travel in your romantic love life either someone's gonna travel to you you're gonna travel to them and uh, something surrounding travel here which is going to fulfill your wishes nine of cups energy so make note of that day that's on the sixth and your love interest of the person you're dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's some kind of message of passion or some kind of exploratory energy here with the Page of Wands energy. All right, I look forward to seeing what's going on with reconciliation because it looks like you got some wishes being fulfilled here. There's something pertaining to a possible reconciliation and some kind of new potential to move to another level of commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. So let's just check out what's going on here. So let's slow this down. This is gonna be the main deck here which is the Lenormand slash Tarot. What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to the 6th? What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, we're going to use the Lenormand as well as a clarifier. What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Let's go to my Scorpio's romantic love life from 31st to November 6th. Show me cards I need to see. Me to see. Okay, feels good. What's going on with my Scorpio's romantic love life from October 31st to November 6th? Scorpio's romantic love life from October 31st to November 6th. Okay, so currently you are defensive about your romantic love life with the Knight of Wands energy. You're feeling like something's eating away at you. So, and the reason is because you have some burden that's on your mind or you feel that there's a lot of responsibility and it's something surrounding a fresh start or a new opportunity with the child card or something to do with an actual child. Um, but you feel like you're responsible for something. You feel like you're burdened. You feel like something's being taken away. You feel like you're having a test of faith in the current position. Okay, why? What's the blockage? So you haven't completely healed yet with the Six of Swords energy pertaining to some kind of marriage or long-term commitment here with the Four of Wands energy. And this could be surrounding someone who's foreign here with the ship card, or you feel like you haven't got the movement that you wanted in something to do with marriage and long-term commitment, and in your, you're still not healed from this situation. So that's the blockage. What's going on at the foundation here? This could be a Leo energy, something to do with strength and courage and something to do with something spiritual, something that you feel that you're trying to use your intuition about. And uh, the bouquet represents appreciation, okay? So you're trying to gain some kind of courage here and use your intuition because you wanna feel appreciated here with the, with the um, bouquet card. So what happened in the past? You gained some kind of mental clarity and you felt victorious pertaining to your happiness here with the 10 of cups energy pertaining to a person, okay? What's going on at the head of the matter here? Bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination, or maybe there's a strong attachment here. And there's something to do with you looking at your options or choices or something surrounding competition or arguments and disputes, which is a burden and a challenge to your situation with the cross card. Okay, what's gonna happen in the immediate future? Whoa, okay. Star card, wishes, something to do about your wishes being fulfilled and leaving something out in the cold five of pentacles and something sudden so something unexpected happens pertaining to your wish and you leave something out in the cold five of pentacles because of the sudden upheaval or something that's unexpected okay so it's around your wish and you being left out in the cold five of pentacles um so it looks like something's coming back around pertaining to your wish, Scorpio. And uh, it, it, it you were left out in the cold pertaining to this and something sudden is going to happen with this situation. Something is going to happen that's going to be sudden pertaining to this. But the star card is a positive card. So it's telling me your wishes are, are, are there something pertaining to your wish. And something unexpected is going to happen pertaining to somebody who left you out in the cold. Hmm. Okay. Um subconsciously you're ready to complete a cycle graduate from one level to the next pertaining to your wish and your hope with the star card because of something pertaining to a blockage or a delay 
What's the influence here? Ending something that was hurtful, Ten of Swords energy, and someone who felt like their hands were tied, or someone who feels like their hands are tied because they don't have strength or courage here with the bear card, or they don't have control of the situation, or there's an authority figure that's involved with this that's kind of making someone feel like their hands are tied, and uh, this is causing someone hurt and pain with the Ten of Swords energy. Wow, so it looks like something pertaining to your wish is going to be unexpected there. Okay, so I can't wait to see what the outcome is. Okay. Hopes and fears, um, you are fearing that someone's not going to give you an equal give and take and you're going to have to be patient and wait around pertaining to your emotions here with the fish card. All right, what's going to be the outcome? Wow. Five of swords, some kind of change is going to happen, something to do with someone who's going to stand up and fight or walk away because they want to fulfill their wishes, nine of cups energy. And the snake card is something that could be backbiting. Okay, we're going to have to break this down more, Scorpio. So let me just move this out of the way here. Okay. Five of swords. So there is a change here. Five. Because someone's defeated about fulfilling their wishes because something isn't quite right with the snake card. Okay, let's keep going. The change is because there's an opportunity of true love here. Ace of Cups. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is this is another surprising reading. I, I can't remember if it was Sagittarius or it was Libra, but one of you guys also had something unexpected, but not in a positive way. You guys have a, an unexpected positive ending here. There's change because someone's going to stand up and fight for true love, Ace of Cups, because of their happiness, the Sun card. So um, someone's going to stand up for true love here and their happiness, the sun card. All right, let's let's clarify this. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Wow. So there's going to be wishes are going to be fulfilled because of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and something to do with heartache here. Jesus. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, we got the snake card, but then we got the key card. Whoa. Okay. So, um, something that wasn't right about an opportunity stops. So, there was something that isn't right, maybe backbiting or something that wasn't, wasn't good with the snake card. But that, that opportunity or that situation ends or stops here. And the reason is, is because of this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or someone has contemplated about what they want for, for pertaining to their wishes. And there's an opportunity of true love here and happiness. And I think this is you, Scorpio, that wants to fulfill your wishes here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, hmm. Whatever this backbiting is, whatever this thing that isn't right is going to stop. And the reason is, is because someone's going to stand up and fight and it's going to be some kind of change here because there's an opportunity of true love and happiness for you, Scorpio. This is a really great ending for you guys. Basically, in the ending here, you have true love and happiness. My lord. Okay. Um, this is actually very positive. Okay. Let's um, let's take some advice for you. And remember, Scorpio, you don't have to take the advice. This is only guidance. So things that are they're not right in your romantic love life pertaining to your opportunities are going to stop. So the things that have been going wrong are going to stop. Wow. Okay, can I have some advice for my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Can I have some advice for my Scorpio's romantic love life for October 31st to November 6th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so something to do with unrequited love and passion and taking some time out to think about this. Well, obviously, the Three of Swords could represent something to do with another person. Okay, so you're going to have to get to the bottom of this situation, Scorpio, pertaining to unrequited love, passion, and taking some time out to think about things. Okay, I'm going to clarify this. Spirit, why are you bringing up unrequited love here? Why is unrequited love here? Why is unrequited love here? Cutting something out, cutting someone out of your life that you you have unrequited love with, Scorpio. And don't have regret about the past. Don't cry over spilled milk here with the Five of Cups energy because there's a new opportunity of passion here with the Ace of Wands energy. 
Why is the Passion card here? And I do see that there is an opportunity here. Ace of Cups and your happiness. This could be a Leo energy too. All right. And what did I say? That something that wasn't right here is the key to ending something or the key to stopping something. Okay. Why is the Passion card here? Why is the Passion card here? Why is the Passion card here? Because of communication or somebody who's ready to move fast and you can gain some control of the situation with the emperor energy and think about this and contemplate this. Wow, okay. Why is the retreat card here? Why is the retreat card here? Why is the retreat card here? Think and contemplate about long-term commitment family and gain a mental clarity to be victorious Pertaining to an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. What did I say? That there's potential Leo energy here. Sun card. Wow. Okay. Um, and something to do with a soulmate connection. Choice towards love to complete some kind of cycle here with the world card. Whew. Guys, you let me know what's going on in the comments below with your reading. It's a very, very interesting reading, Scorpio. Um, wow. This, this ending is amazing, actually. Things that aren't quite right. These opportunities... Uh, or you have the opportunity to end things that aren't right, to take a new opportunity or take a renewed opportunity of true love and happiness here with the sun card and to fulfill your wishes with the nine of cups energy. Jesus, Scorpio. All right. Um, and spirit is saying, if you're dealing with someone that you have unrequited love with, cut them out and don't have regret about that pertaining to a new opportunity. Okay. Ooh. All right, my Scorpios, obviously you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to. You have free will. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great week.